hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to champions league predictions obviously champions league literally just over 24 hours away uh, before it gets back underway obviously a long international break has just literally happened as well there's no rest for these players really but anyway a lot to talk about a lot of fishes to get through so guys you know what to do so a big rock for you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game I'm going to talk about is Club Bruges versus Manchester City. Club Bruges in the Champions League, I don't think they've been performing too badly. But going up against a really good Manchester City side, uh, beating Burnley, got Brighton coming up this weekend, and that, obviously that will be part of my Premier League prediction uh, later on this week. But just looking forward to this game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Manchester City win, just being away from home as well. The next one is Besiktas versus Sporting Lisbon or Sporting uh, CP. Uh, don't know much about the two clubs. I think Besiktas have maybe picked up a point or maybe three in the last two games. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Sporting Lisbon, obviously a team I have heard of in the past. Obviously, we all know this is where the great Cristiano Ronaldo came from. Go forward to this game, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Paris Saint-Germain versus RB Leipzig. Um, RB Leipzig, to me, you know, they have got some great players. That's where Tom and Renner came from. You know, a load of great names they got there. Going up against a really okay PSG side. I think this one might be another draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is FC Porto versus AC Milan. Porto, obviously, is where the, uh, Jason Mourinho came from before he was the first, before he had his first at Chelsea. Milan, it could maybe be a Milan win. Will I go for it? Yes, I will. I'll actually go for a Milan win for this one, and I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Atletico Madrid versus Liverpool. Atletico Madrid are, you know, one of the great teams in Spain. Got uh, Griezmann back, uh, I believe it was in the last transfer window. Liverpool are doing okay. I can't remember who I beat this weekend. Oh yeah, I did. It's Watford 5-0 out of it. Look, very skillful Liverpool. But going away to Spain, will it have... You know, will they be able to perform to the same expectation? I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. My next one is... Ajax versus Borussia Dortmund. Um, Borussia Dortmund, obviously a great German club. I think they've won their previous two games in the Champions League as well. Ajax, obviously one of the great clubs again. It's going to be a really interesting game, this one, between the two clubs. But I'm going to go for a Borussia Dortmund win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Borussia Dortmund win. My next one is... Inter Milan versus Sheriff. Now, Sheriff has been the shock of the tournament, winning, I think they won both their previous two games in the Champions League. I think they beat Juvent uh, Juventus 1. Um, I can't remember who else in that group. Um, but yeah, great uh, one by Sheriff coming up to this game. Will there be another upset at San Zero? I believe so. So I'm going to go for a Sheriff win. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 Sheriff win. My next one is Shakhtar Donet versus Real Madrid. Shakhtar Donet, obviously one of the great clubs in the Champions League. I believe this is like their third year running they've been in the competition, maybe longer. Going up as a very okay Real Madrid side, the likes of Hazard. Bale's obviously back over there. But I have seen them struggle. Um, I, you know, I barely watched Real Madrid or any Spanish football really this season. Uh, they have struggled at times, but not as much as their counterparts as Barcelona have. I'm going to go for a draw, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is 
Barcelona versus Dynamo Kiev. I was just literally speaking about Barcelona, uh, the Real Madrid. As I said, they have been struggling. I think they picked up their first three points uh, this weekend in La, La Liga. Don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure, but I know they've been struggling, you know, over the past few weeks. I've watched them a couple of times as well this season, and yeah, it don't live up to the same Barcelona without Lionel Messi being there. But anyway, Dynamo Kiev, obviously great, you know, club. Do well to qualify for the Champions League over, you know, the season. I'm going to go for a Dynamo Kiev win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Dynamo Kiev win. My next one is Salzburg versus Wolfsburg. Uh, Salzburg, obviously another great club. Wolfsburg, a great German club. I have heard of them over, you know, maybe... Maybe since I was about seven, I think the first time I felt I heard of Wolfsburg. It obviously, sort of shows you what age I am. Uh, but, yeah, great two clubs. I'm going to go for a draw in Group G for this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Benfica versus Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich did beat Borussia Dortmund, I believe, in the league this previous weekend. I know they did play some big German club. Didn't actually watch the game, but they did win it. I don't know that for a matter of fact. Benfica, yet again, obviously another great club. With the likes of... You know, the players they produce and the way they play. I'm going to go for a bomb unit win now. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 bomb unit win. My next one is Young Boys versus Villarreal. Young Boys beat a main island in game one. A uh, match they won. Don't know how I got in a match they two. I think I might have drawn. Uh, Villarreal are obviously yet another great Spanish club. The likes of, you know, Casola from... He used to play for Arsenal, played there. Uh, played there. It's going to be a really interesting game in Group F. Do I think Young Boys will, could cause a set, an upset? I believe so. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Young Boys win. My next one is Manchester United versus Atlanta. Man United really are uh, on a big dip in the Premier League. Losing to Leicester. Drawing to Everton over the previous two games in the Premier League. Atlanta, going to go to Old Trafford. I reckon they're going to be re ready to go. Uh, I still may not. I did actually watch the highlights of the Man United Leicester game on Saturday night. I believe Atlanta will win this one. And I believe it will be a 3-1 scoreline to Atlanta for that one. So Man United fans. The next one is L.O. CS versus Slovenia. I'm, you know, I have obviously covered this all the way through. But I'm going to, you know, two good clubs, really two great clubs. Um, the clubs I've heard of in the past, clubs I believe I've watched in the past as well. It's going to be a really interesting game in Group G this weekend. So I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for my first ever nil nil score on I believe I've called in this Champions League. My next one is Chelsea versus Marino. Sorry if I mispronounced that in any way, but um yeah, Chelsea, you know, they beat Brentford this previous weekend in the Premier League. I have really have, you know, watched Chelsea um over the Brentford game. It really was an interesting game. Will it be a, you know, bit of an upset against Marino? I don't believe so. I believe Chelsea will win this one quite comfortably. Marino have not picked up any points up to this stage in the Champions League either. So I believe Chelsea will win this one quite comfortably. And I'll go for a 3-0 Chelsea win. My last one is St. Petersburg versus Juventus. Juventus... I don't know how we're quite getting on in Serie A. Same as with St. Petersburg. So I'm going to call this one... A, oh, actually, I'm going to go a Juventus win. And I'm going to go a 2-1 Juventus win. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fuck thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.